previously on Queen's Journey. Going to bed, not with a scarf on mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. You can put on some lip gloss, mm -hmm. you can steam mm -hmm. things up mm -hmm. and all that other stuff. I tell people, explore. Yeah. Explore one right. another's bodies. Right. Right. That brings intimacy. Yeah. Yeah. And so even for those seasoned people, it ain't too late to no. go exploring. I'm 16, I'm still exploring. Right, <laughs> right. Because things have changed. That's right, things <laughs> have changed over the years. Yes. I know that's right. right. Hey. You ain't climbed this mountain no, yet, so no. go exploring. No, 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 yes. no. Help and get your Welcome to Queen's Journey. I am your host, Janine McBath. Well, why do women love hard in a relationship and the men don't, you know, they don't get that back. They don't receive that back. Mm. Women love hard. And they don't receive it back. Mm -hmm. Well, you chose the wrong That's man. Right. Right. Com, hey. period with the T hey. on the end of it, you hey. chose the wrong one. That's it. <laughs> but if you're in it and you're saying, I'm loving, I'm loving, and he's not loving back, what are your expectations of that person, right? Mm -hmm. If this expectation is he's supposed to be your prince yeah. and your Cinderella and yeah, you don't see? feel like that, see? then your expectations are misplaced, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we say we love our man for who he is, mm -hmm. but truth is, do we really? Yeah. You know, I, I give a demonstration. Mm. Uh, this is a bottle of water, mm -hmm. and it's about right here, mm -hmm. right? So it's not full. Mm -hmm. And then I have a full bottle of water. Mm -hmm. And I say, with this water in here is love, peace, and joy. Mm -hmm. How did it get in here? How did the love, joy, and peace get into this bottle mm -hmm. of water? It wasn't my man who gave it to me. Mm. I came with it. I went to God, and God filled me with love, joy, right. and peace. Right. Now, this is me. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll say this to my husband just to give him some credit. <laughs> this, is, this is my husband, Derek, and this is me. My love joint peace is right here. Mm -hmm. But if Derek says, and I'm relying on Derek to give me love, joy, and peace, mm -hmm. and he pours it into me, then he's down here. That's right. And so if I say love, joy, and peace comes from God, mm -hmm. and I'm filled, He's filled, mm -hmm. then what ends up happening is we're just adding mm -hmm. on to each other and there's a spillover. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for our partner to give us what he should not be giving us. That's right. Their expectation of what we're saying, you're expected to love me, you're expected to give, yeah, I want that, but I already have it and I had it before I came to you. And so when that question of, you know, I'm loving hard, mm -hmm. but he's not, well, is he empty? Yeah and he has nothing to give yeah. and he's not, and you're wanting it, or have you depleted him basically of everything because mm -hmm. you were not filled? Yeah, yeah. And so Ooh. that could be the reason yeah. why that happens, right? Yeah, it's that love tank. Yes. It has to be filled. Yes. Uh, and you only get that filled in the presence of God. Yes. We do have to ch constantly check that love tank. You're right. You know, when Derek and I redid our vows, um, a part of our vows said, I don't expect him to mm. make me happy. Mm -mm. We don't mm -mm. expect each other no. to make each other happy. No. We have to do that for yeah. ourselves. And then with that, there's an overflow. Yeah. Because it's above his pay grade. Yeah. That's not his job. Yeah, that's not his job. Nope. Nope. I do that and he just adds yeah. to it. God gave us each other to add to one another. Yeah. But not to be that person to fulfill yeah. all of our every need. That's right. Because he's supposed to do that. Yeah. God's doing that. Yeah, that's an unfair expectation <sighs> of that individual yes. to do that. Uh, you you know, he can't make you happy. No. I remember, I think it was John Maxwell who said that, and he asked his wife, am I making you happy <laughs> on a scale of one to 10? She gave him a five. Right. He got a five. A five. A five. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Hey, I'm John, John Maxwell. Maxwell. I'm the author. <laughs> right. you know, and he was explaining that his wife was trying to tell him, you know, 
you can't make me happy. No. You know, no. God makes me happy. Yeah. My happiness comes from God. Yes, you yes. You know, so that's an unfair expectation. No, it really you is. You know, to put on individuals. And so we, we put that them. on them. Yeah. And we expect them. We say we accept them when we mm -hmm. marry them. We accept them for who they are. When we date them, mm -hmm. we accept them for who we mm -hmm. are. they are. But then we find that we're trying to change yes. them. Yes. To be something that they're not. That they're not. You yeah. know, and then we don't, they're not growing fast enough for me. Mm -hmm. You know, that's another unfair right. expectation. Right. And so that messes up the whole relationship. It really does. Because that could be, you know, I buy him gifts, but he don't buy me any yes. gifts. So I'm loving harder because I'm buying That's him right. stuff. That's right. And he, he ain't buying buy me nothing. anything. <laughs> right. Uh, but he makes sure when he comes home, he cooks the dinner. Yeah. He makes sure everything is provided in terms of the food, but that's not the way you want it, Yeah. right? So Ooh. somebody might not ever be able to meet your expectations Ooh. or your false narrative of loving back could be mistaken. Ooh, this is good stuff, yeah. ladies. This is good stuff. Okay, <laughs> relationship with family and children. Mm. Wow, yeah. now, this is interesting. Yeah. And how do you create boundaries as being a caregiver? Mm. So that's different. Mm. So if I'm caring for someone. Well, yeah, now I'm caring for somebody my in my mother, family. My mother, my family, yeah. and creating, creating boundaries. I spoke to a friend of mine the other day. Um, she cared for her mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I said to her, what boundaries did you put in place? Mm. And she said, well, you know, I, I wasn't working, and so I was more flexible. Mm -hmm. I said, I understand, but mm -hmm. what boundaries did you put in place? Mm -hmm. She said, well, you know, Trace, I was just flexible. I could do more mm -hmm. stuff, and, mm -hmm. you know, if she needed me, and I was like, oh, so you had no boundaries? Mm -hmm. You have to be able yes, to do. say, this That's is my right. boundary. And boundaries are for you, mm -hmm. right? So if you're caring for someone, this is what I need. I mm -hmm. need to be able to break mm -hmm. these many times of, yeah. the, of the week. Right. And this is what I'm going to do, and this is how I'm going to do it. So if somebody calls and says, can you do? No. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't have any boundaries and you're just so flexible mm -hmm. and, oh, I can do it. Mm -hmm. That's where you need mm -hmm. boundaries, especially if the person is up and walking around mm -hmm and they can do for themselves. Mm -hmm. My mom, she'll go to my sister's house and my mom would just go in and wash everybody's clothes, mm -hmm. right? And my sister said to her, mom, you can wash the kids' clothes, but my clothes, my husband's clothes, those are off limits mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. Now, my mom said, okay, so what can I do? <laughs> and, so, and so my sister gave her uh -huh. her list of things that she could do in uh -huh. her house. Uh -huh. She created a boundary for herself. Yes. And so my mom knows I'm not to cross that boundary because mm -hmm. this is the boundary my daughter mm -hmm. set for me. Mm -hmm. So you have to set boundaries. You do. Yeah, you do. With, with your children, with your family. Mm -hmm. um, I remember I had to set a boundary for myself with my mm -hmm. husband. Mm -hmm. We get off of work at five but he would never come home at five, right? Okay. You, you know how <laughs> y'all yeah, work over and over and over. Yes. And I set a boundary, I'm done at five. I'm walking out the door uh -huh. at like 5.05 uh -huh. and I'm calling Derek like, hey, what you doing? He's like, I'm still at work. Oh, you still at work? He said, yeah, what time are you coming home? And so he was just like, well, I'll be home in a few. Well, if you turn to like 6.30 or seven or whatever time it was. And so I was getting frustrated and I was getting irritated and agitated about mm -hmm. all of this. So in a happy moment, not an intense moment of fellowship, <laughs> but when we were calm and okay. cool, I said, you know what? I apologize. Yeah. I said, I'm frustrating you because I'm trying to make you get off of work at five. I'm not going to do that because mm -hmm. I know that's not what you want to mm -hmm. do. And you're getting frustrated and I'm getting frustrated. So what I'm going to do is not call you at five o'clock anymore mm -hmm. because I know if I call you at five and you're still at work, I'm gonna be upset. Yeah. So yeah. the boundary I put on myself was don't call him at five o'clock yeah. and ask him what he's doing. And so the yeah, first day I was like, oh, okay, wait, 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 I'm not supposed to call I'm not him. Supposed to call. <laughs> so I, I called my daughter. Right. <laughs> like, what you doing? <laughs> so I'm on my way home from work because you know I'm used to talking uh -huh. to somebody. And so she's like, what, mom? And I was like, oh, this is my daughter. She's not gonna talk long. And so after that, the next day it worked and the next day now it's to the point we are happy yeah. i'm not trying to control right. him in right. terms of what time he gets home right i'm happy right um if i cook dinner and dinner's there yes he can eat if i don't guess what fend for yourself yeah. night you know 
Because <laughs> I ain't. Get a pizza. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Right. And so that is help, but mm -hmm. I put a boundary on me. Yeah. That's I was necessary. trying to put a boundary on him, mm -hmm. and he's grown. You can't put boundaries on right. people because they're grown. You can't tell them, well, you need to do this. Mm -hmm. That's you trying to put a boundary right. on them. Right. Put it on you. Yeah. If they yell, don't be yelling at me. Yeah. Well, um, I'm putting a boundary on you. Yeah. Okay, when you yell at me, I'm going to walk away. Right. Now, if I choose to stay, right. that's on me crossing my own boundary. Yeah. Yeah, I remember taking care of my dad, and uh, my dad is passed now. And um, you know, and I was a caregiver for my mom mm -hmm. and my dad. And uh, my dad, I mean, he would get up early in the morning. He's an early bird, so he'd get up early, like yeah. four in the morning, yeah. just early. And so when I had to take him to his doctor's appointments, he would make them like real early in the morning, and I have to take him. And I'm like, you That's, know, dad, you know. So right. I had to set boundaries for myself and for him. And I had to say, now yeah. look, dad, this is what we're gonna do. Yeah. I took him to the doctor. Mm -hmm. And I said, the talk, we got up there, and he would say, okay, now, what time would you like to come, Mr. Brown? He would get me to say, I said, no, this is the time that he's yes. going to come. Because <laughs> this is the time I'm going to be able to get right. up and bring him right, here. Right. And he would look at me, and it's so funny, because my dad, he would just <laughs> smile at me sometimes, because he, he knows, don't call me dad at this time. Because right. he'd be calling the children. He'd call us all early. <laughs> Everything is early for him. I yeah. mean, he just get up early. I had yes. to set the boundary, yes. and he had to accept that boundary from me. Yes. He knew I wanted to serve him, but he just couldn't do it That's anytime good. he That's wanted good. to do. Yes. So funny because as they get older, they're like children. Yes. You yes. know? And so I said, now dad, now you can't do that to the kids either. You can't right. keep calling them this early in the morning. <laughs> Did he hear me? No. no. He, didn't hear me. he still he set him. his own yeah, boundary. He set that. his own boundary. <laughs> but, he kept calling anyway. But the kids <laughs> didn't set the boundary. No, they didn't. So they that's did. why he kept calling. See, you set a boundary, it That's worked. Right. The kids right. didn't set the boundary. They sure did, because they would get up and they'd be fussing right. while Peppa, Poppy, why didn't you? So, you was the smart one. I, I was set my boundary. One. No, sir, I set but my they boundary. Didn't. You yeah. didn't call me that early. Right. <laughs> but that is so good. That yeah. We need to learn to set boundaries. Yes, That's, that's important. Yes, that's so do. important. We've been chatting with Tracy Barbie these past few episodes, and hasn't it been eye-opening? It definitely has been for me. Well, in case you missed it, Tracy is a licensed marriage and family therapist and owner of Fountain of Hope Counseling Center. For more information, please visit her website, www.fountainofhopecc.com. What does it um, look like when you strongly disagree with a family member, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. How do you handle that? Well, that's probably mm. half of my family members. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the yes. Um, so, yes. But you still love them. Yeah. In spite of. There's a lot of people who don't mm. agree with me and my family, mm -hmm. right? And they still love me. Yeah. I still love them. Now, yeah. I might not like their ways. Yeah. I might not like what they do. Right. But they sit at the table. Yeah. They eat. Yeah. And things that we disagree yeah. on, we just disagree on. Yeah. But the boundaries for my house, when we talk about boundaries, mm -hmm. if there's things that's going on, just say like, oh, you, you, you get high. Yeah. Well, you can get high. Yeah. I, I might not be in agreement mm -hmm. with it, but at the end of the day, you can't get high in my house. Right, right, you know? right, so right, right. So you, you do that somewhere right, else. Right, right. And so it doesn't stop me from loving you right, that's at right. all. Right, that's so good. It doesn't that's stop so me. Good, you Tracy. made your choices, mm -hmm. and that's okay. My values and my morals are mine, mm -hmm. and I can set boundaries mm -hmm. in my house and what it looks like for me in my house. Mm -hmm. Outside of my house, mm -hmm. I can't tell you what to do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know, you got to walk this road mm -hmm. the way I had to walk it, mm -hmm. and whatever consequences come, Mm -hmm. That's what they come, but I'm mm -hmm. still love you. Yeah. And be there for you. Yeah. Now I'm not gonna get you out of jail. Right. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Unless it's not really your fault, you know. <laughs> I'll be like <laughs> sit there and learn. Yeah. Say uh, process that. <laughs> But outside of that, yeah, yeah. just joking. I'm, you're still going to be yeah. there for them. Yeah. You're going to love them yeah. and all of that. You're just not going to cross your boundaries. Yeah. And yeah. That, and you I like love what you said that. about in the house. It said, this is your house, and this yeah. is the boundaries and the things you set for mm -hmm. your house. Now, what you do outside of the house, I can't control that. And, you know, and even when it comes to 
children, you know, the children have to learn their own convictions. Yes. They can't yes. have the convictions that you have your own, start learning, right. get your own conviction. Right. You know, because the only way you change or grow is having your own convictions. Right, right. You know? But I think as a family member, we have to learn how to love no matter what. No matter what. Love people. Yeah. You know, love, just love them. Right. You know, love them into change. Right. Love them into growth. Just love them. That's it. You know, that's how Jesus did. That, that's all he did, <laughs> you know. And even with uh, Judas, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. He still sat at the table. Still he was one of the, the 12. Table. And he knew he would still be Still had the money. Him. Still had the money. You know you love somebody and, when you had the money. And you didn't say, give me the money. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Give the money. <laughs> right. And so Jesus still loved him yeah. in spite of that's what he right. knew. He sure did. And so you sure can still did. love them. It wasn't Jesus who caused him to kill himself. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It was his own, own guilt. guilt. His own guilt. Yep. That's it. Yep. Peter denied him yep. several times, yep. and he loved Peter. Peter got biggest, on his nerves half the time. Biggest ministry, yep. right? And so, but he still loved still Peter. Loved him. That's right. And you know? it's hard. Yeah. I know it's hard. Yes. You know, I'm not going to say it's easy. It's hard, but you got to go that route. Yeah. Yeah. As hard as it is, you still got to go yeah. that route. I know I've made the mistakes in it, but yeah. I'm, I've learned. Just yeah. I've got to do it. Mm -hmm. I just got to go that route. The grace that God has given us, he'll give to our children. Mm -hmm. He'll give mm -hmm. to our family members mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. That's how I look at that. Mm -hmm. But it took me a minute because I was stressed about mm -hmm. some stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I would be like, oh, my gosh, what is he doing? Mm -hmm. We didn't teach him that. Uh -huh, you know? uh -huh, uh -huh. And the Bible says, yeah. grace of the child, the yeah. way you should go, and you should not depart. Yeah. And the Lord had to remind me. I wasn't talking about his success. No. I was talking about depart from me, That's knowing it. me, Thank Tracy, you. not everything Thank else. You. And so with that, I was like, I don't know what he's doing. What is he doing? Yeah. I mean, did we, and we would say yeah. that to him and then I would be like, oh, and I'm anxious and I'm worried yeah. and then I'm losing sleep. Yeah. And I was like, no, 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 no. Not doing that no more. No. Can't do that. Mm -mm. And so when I stopped, I was just like loving him for who he is. I don't even bring up mm -hmm. any of the stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, I just let him be free to yeah. be who he is, yeah. you know? I remember God saying something to me that I can raise them better mm -hmm. than you can. Yeah. Because I created them. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, I leave it alone. And I just, after that, I was like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lord, I'm yeah. going to go to sleep then. I have a bonus child. Mm -hmm. So I met uh, my husband, and he had a daughter that's mm -hmm. three months. Mm -hmm. At that point in time, she she's, she's gay. She's mm -hmm. a lesbian. Mm -hmm. And I remember she told my husband before she even told her mom. Mm -hmm. um, and he said, okay, you know, I don't agree with it, mm -hmm. but I love you anyways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've met her, mm -hmm. her significant mm -hmm. other and mm -hmm. all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, we just love. And she's got to know that love. Yeah. See? Yeah. 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 You know, that's how you were supposed to do it. Yeah. That's we leave those to things do. with God yeah. to do. Yeah. We can't change a life. We can't add a hair to their head. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. You can't do any of that. No. So just love them and let God do whatever he needs to do. Yeah. And so I think most of it is just wanting to control. That's yeah, what that that's is. it. That's what that's it is. That's the you underlining. It. Yeah. That's the underlying thing. If we can it. just control this. Yes. But you can't control no. anybody's life. You no. can't control. No. So I'm still trying to figure out how to I'm trying figure to figure out, out my, my own, own life. life. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes. So this last question in here says, how do um, you transition from a parent of a high school student to a parent of a college student? Mm -hmm. That's you. <laughs> ah, oh. Mine's all gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My serenity, yes. Oh. Oh, how do I transition? Oh. You know how I transitioned? Mm -hmm. I started doing my own thing mm. prior to her leaving, mm. right? And so now when she come home, we're like, when are you going back to school? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> she'll be like, oh, I got to uh -huh. come home. Uh -huh. And so I'm just watching her grow. Yeah. And then she'll tell me stuff like, oh, I'm going to Miami. Do you have money? What are, what are you doing? Yeah. And, oh, well, I'm just going. I got everything. And so could you just take me to the airport? I, so I'm watching this independence. Wow. But we've trained her to yeah. be that way. Yeah. And and now I'm like, oh, I'm seeing yeah. that. And I'm loving it. Some of my friends was like, what am I going to do? I'm like, what do you mean what, what are you going to do? Oh, no, I love uh, my space. Uh, so the transition was good. I was there for her. I was the yeah. PTA president. I went to all of her softball games. And I still support her and all of that. But watching her and even watching some of the things she's doing in college, I'm like, oh, my gosh. And she's open and telling me oh, everything. Wow. And I'm like, do I want to hear that? I mean, <laughs> And my son will do the same thing. I'll be like, do I want to hear, hear it? That? But they're comfortable yeah, in talking. Yeah, that's good. That's a good thing. And that's so because they thing. are, I listen. And if they ask for advice, I do. And mm -hmm. if they don't, I don't. And then 
we just kind of let it go. So wow. we're enjoying being empty yeah. nesters. Derek and yeah. I, we're enjoying it and all of that other stuff. So. So it's yeah. kind of hard. It's no. really not a hard transition from high school to college. I mm -hmm. think being open and listening yes. and uh, entering into their world and being a part of their world yes. as they open up, I think that's good. That that's helpful as a parent, yes. you know, and not to stress out and wondering what am I, you know, what's going on with my job right now, you know. If you put things in them, mm. uh, we've got to trust that they'll grow up in it, yeah. you know? Um, but I think entering into their world and being a part, you know, I, we were able to be a part of our kids' world, you mm -hmm. know, from high school to college, you know, even now as they're adults yeah. now, you know, just being a part of their world, yes. you know? Um, asking them, you know, what's going on and trying mm -hmm. to hear what they're saying, you know? Yeah. And it's just great, you right. know? Right. I mean, that stress level uh, is just so low at now. Right, but I'm learning a lot from them yes. and we don't understand yes. how much we can learn yes. from them yes. uh, we're just like oh they don't know better no, no. that's not true mm -mm. they could teach you a lot of yeah. things and let you know what's going on in life yeah. and give you all the new slang you yeah. know? <laughs> so. I know I get it wrong still get it wrong I try I try I'm trying I'm trying yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. So, they told me ma that's not right that's but not I'm right saying, I'm trying yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying and so uh, just to even experience I had all of them home for the last week and a half mm -hmm. my son came from California California mm -hmm. with uh, my love, my love daughter okay. and um, our grandson mm -hmm. and our granddaughter and our daughter was there. And so really I was like, oh, I'm ready for all of them to, to go. go. <laughs> I was like, I was doing dishes. I was cleaning. I was cooking oh. more than I normally do. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not that oh, grandmother. I, I'm not that. See, mom. I love it, Tracy. <laughs> I love it. I must be crazy. <laughs> I love it. I love them to just be there. It's oh. great. But you know, it's good. But you know, I think the difference is yours is around you. Yeah, mine's I think living so. in another state. Yeah, I think that might so yeah, that might be different. That's it. To me. So when they come, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, where yeah. are they leaving? <laughs> I was like, I'm not that grandmother. I'm that grandmother. Like, let's go. <laughs> let's do. Y'all want to go skydiving? Oh, y'all babies, y'all can't do that. You know, I'm that oh, grandmother. Wow. So. <laughs> I love it. I That's love me. it. So I think everybody has yeah. their different everybody way of does. being everybody and what does. they love. Tracy, before we go any further, we have to pause and just recognize the bravery of these women who ask some difficult questions. Ladies, don't stop sending those in. We will continue to explore them together in a safe space with some pretty incredible people like our dear sister Tracy. I warned you, she was all of that. <laughs> now, before we conclude this episode, I have one last question that I'd like to ask our guests. As a queen on this journey, what is one of the things you always carry? Mm -hmm. It can be anything, an affirmation or a lip gloss. Mm -hmm. uh, I know it can't exist in my queendom without my... Earrings. Ah! <laughs> Earrings. Really? Yes, wow. they, they are part of my wardrobe. Really? I literally have gone to work and like all oh, my earrings and gone right back home to get my earrings. Really? Yes, my earrings. I so can't. earrings, everything. Now, do you like big ones, flashy ones, or just, just it can earrings? Be simple earrings. Really? It's just, yes, it's just a part of my wardrobe. And I can't go without them. Uh, I work out with my earrings on. Really? Yes, 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 yes. I do, yes. I work out with my earrings, and my earrings are a part of just my wardrobe. Wow. So my earrings, it's a part of me being a queen. Wow, I yeah. love it. Yeah. So ladies, don't forget those earrings. Don't yeah. so forget those <laughs> earrings. <laughs> I read a quote that said, never leave a true relationship for a few faults. Nobody is perfect. So at the end, affection is always greater than perfection. Wouldn't you agree? Mm. I hope today's conversation will help strengthen your relationships. I know it will mine. As always, we are in it together, ladies, showing and sharing how we do life together to strengthen and encourage one another along this queen's journey. I hope you found today helpful, and I look forward to our next gathering. 